Hey artists, today you're gonna get one big sheet of white paper, one little sheet of white paper, a worksheet, and a paintbrush. Okay. I'm gonna put my name on both of my white sheets of paper. I'm gonna put them up in the corner. So that way if I make a mistake, I can always um, flip it over and use the other side. Okay, and I'm gonna start with my big sheet of paper and you are going to create a bubble letter of one of your onomatopoeia words. Okay, remember that we made a list up 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 on the whiteboard. Um, think of words like pow, bam, zip, things like that. Um, I think I'm gonna do pow. So I'm gonna write pow nice and large. Gotta make sure I leave enough room to fit the whole word on there. P-O-W. And I showed you up on the board how to turn it into bubble letters by carefully drawing around the edge of it. You can make them kind of thick this. The P's and B's and D's, remember that you need to do the inside of that letter as well. Like that. O and then W. Okay, like that. After you've got that drawn, you need to erase the inside of your letters. We don't need to see how you wrote it. That's just there to help guide you with your bubble letters. Okay. After I have my bubble letters drawn, I'm going to paint them with one of the primary colors, not more than one. You need to pick one and use it. Okay, you're either gonna have temper cakes or liquid watercolors out. Temper cakes, we know that we need to get our brush nice and wet before we can use them. Liquid watercolors, I can just dip my brush in and start to paint. Carefully painting. We are going to be cutting these um, words out next time. So if you get a little spot out of the letter, not the end of the world. After you have your word painted all one color, this is going to go in the drying rack. And then you're going to start on your white details that we'll um, cut out and use next time. Okay, so this worksheet has lots of different ideas for you to look at. Um, kind of think about what word you're using. So if it's something like zip or zoom, you know, something that's fast, you might think more about like using the lightning bolts as little details for your work because that typically means something's fast or it's, an electri uh, it's electric. If it's pow or bam, you might want to use one of these other explosions or puffs of air. So you probably want to draw three or four of them. So I use pow. So I'm going to draw out a few different explosions. We will be tracing these and cutting them out next time. That's one. Two. And I'm gonna do three. Three. Okay, after you are that far, you can put these, um, your worksheet and your um, little detail drawing up front on the supply table, take care of your paintbrush, and then you are all finished. So word first, you gotta draw it into bubble letters, then paint it, clean up your paintbrush and your um, artwork on the drying rack, and then move on to your white details.